So we're hearing a lot about adjacent things in the Oracle Exadata realm. I mean, what is adjacent? Are we standing adjacent to each other here? What does adjacent mean for Exadata? Adjacent would be like this, but yeah. So we're too far away. We're okay. A little bit too far away. So essentially what we're referring to, Holger, is uh, cloud-adjacent databases running on Oracle Dex Exadata. What is that? What essentially this means is there are a multitude of customers out there who are saying, listen, we have been asked to get out of the data center business, or we need to have been asked to move all of our workloads to public cloud. Mm -hmm. And in some cases, they've tried to run Oracle Database on a variety of third-party public clouds, mm -hmm. AWS, Azure, Google, and they haven't had success. They haven't well, been well, able to have how the- How come, how come? the lack of high availability features, okay. they haven't had the performance, they haven't had the response times, the scalability, and, and the pricing uh, that they were expecting uh, with that move. So the other issue they, they encountered is these customers, when running the database on Oracle Exadata, mm -hmm. thought they could achieve something similar by moving it to one of these generic third-party clouds. Yep. That didn't happen. So what's happening now is customers are saying, okay, how do I achieve two objectives? How do I get out of the data center business? Mm -hmm. And how do I move my Oracle database workloads to the cloud? So what we've come up with is what we call it, referred to as a cloud adjacent database architecture okay. running on Exadata. So imagine, for example, an Equinix data center. Mm -hmm. And you could basically have your applications running in whatever cloud you like. You have Oracle public cloud, obviously, but let's say they select to run their apps or AWS's apps or mm -hmm. Azure or Google. Yep. Their co-location cage would be, say, here. Next to that would be a co-location cage from Oracle where we would have an Exadata. We would cross-connect the two cages whereby you would have, essentially have very low latency, less than two milliseconds. Okay. And you eliminate any risk of SQL timeouts. Why is it so important? Couldn't I run it on-premise on another cloud? What's the problem? So, so, so here's the issue. So let's say you're on-premise and you're trying to connect to a third-party public cloud. Yep. You're going to have data latency. You're going to have SQL timeouts. In fact, the networking costs by running it on premises uh, instead of in an Equinix data center alone trying to connect oh. to those public clouds could be as much as 70% higher. Uh, prohibitive, yeah. It's too expensive. Very expensive. Yeah. So you're essentially achieving those two objectives of I'm out of the data center business, I'm in the cloud, the executives walk into a cloud data center from Equinix, for example, they see the Exadata connected to you know multiple clouds or one cloud. Yep. Near zero latency, the response time is basically the same as you're getting on-premises, and those application clouds are using the Oracle Exadata as essentially you know, their, their core data store. Yeah. They're hitting it as their back end. And it's enabling the customer to control the database, control the data, mm -hmm. and still enjoy the Exadata experience. And, and to quote a former president, right, if you like your Oracle database, you can keep your Oracle database. Mm -hmm. right, so when you build your next generation application in the public cloud, whatever that might be, you don't have to add the database to the equation if it's still working for you. And that makes the whole project significantly less risky and gives you better continue, business continuity running that. Yeah, in fact, on the topic of business continuity, we've also seen customers architect a DR strategy by having, say, an Exadata and a ZDLRA, a recovery appliance, in one Equinix data center cross-connected to the public clouds of their choice, and then that connected to another data center in another geolocation right with an Exadata and ZDR. And it's very important, right? Because all these new applications need the qualities of always on. You can't have the traditional weekend download times. Right. Cool, so adjacent database, much closer than we we are standing in here. Cloud adjacent databases, in, in, for example, in APAC, they like to call it a, you know, a multi-cloud, you know, low latency database solution. Yep. But essentially the key point is you're enabling customers to achieve two objectives, getting out of the data center business and uh, making sure that their Oracle databases mm -hmm you know, can very quickly move to the cloud. Great, so now we know the adjacent cloud databases. Yeah, and, and you and I are not quite adjacent just yet. Not close enough, but we can't move.